watching your physio clinic. And I'm going to take you through our next video clip on our healthy back series. And today we're focusing on balance exercises. So our last video clip was working on the glutes in um, mat-based exercises. Today we're progressing the glutes in a standing position, but on also working balance. So balance is great for helping improve stability, increasing body awareness, and also helping the sequence of the way our muscles work together. So we're going to make a start in a stride stance position, so one foot in front of the other. And we're going to think about tilting the tailbone down. So you might want to tilt the pelvis back and forth, find your spine neutral, that middle position there. Tilting the sitting bones down and zipping in there. Now this can be a great way if you have back pain doing the washing up or perhaps at a standing desk and you can switch on the muscles there so it's a bit more of a dynamic position. So when you are happy with your starting position we can challenge our balance a little bit by turning the head one way back to centre and then the other. Now if that feels challenging you can always take the feet a little bit wider to help with your balance but if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more then you can make them more in a line position there. Now another way to challenge balance is to close your eyes so it may just be enough just shutting your eyes and staying still there or perhaps you glide the head turning one way and then the other way making sure you keep your centre set there. So next we're going to take the feet, the bend to that front leg and then draw the foot forwards. So now we're going to glide that back bend, that back foot in a straight line, making sure you have two parallel lines, middle of shoulders, middle of hips, middle of knees. And just challenging there, making sure that you bend to the hips, you're zipping in so you're not sinking that lower back and gliding the foot back in a smooth line and back. Now challenging the balance, keeping the pelvis level, we can then glide that foot out to the side, making sure we don't tip over, so keeping the waist level and do two more. Now just to challenge that further still, keeping that supporting knee bent, you can glide the leg out to the side, circle it back, and then draw it back. So do that again. Out to the side, circle it to the back, staying strong with those deep abdominals, so we don't um, sink in the back. And reverse it, so glide back, circle around, and then back to centre. So back. And then you can always switch each time. So out to the side, back, and then back to the side, just staying level. And you'll feel that working, that supporting leg. Right, let's switch. So other leg behind, so weight on that front leg, and then we'll just glide back. Like we're scooting, but again, staying strong. Just a little bend in the hip. And a little bend in that knee. Trying to keep the middle of the hip, middle of the knee, of the middle of the foot, second, third toe there. Okay, and then again you can go glide out to the side and then back, out to the side and back. Now we can combine the two, so glide back, out to the side and centre, and do that again, out, back, out to the side, centre. Then the other way, so switch direction up to the side. Now, if you're on a carpet, it might be tricky to do that gliding, so you may want to just do a little toe tap, that might be easier. So just do what works best for you there. Okay, next we're going to just stand on one leg and see if you can balance okay there. Keep that little bend and that supporting knee. Watch you don't drop the pelvis so you stay in the level there. Lovely long neck, long spine. And you might need to fix your gaze on something still to help you stay still. 
Again, the challenge is you can shut your eyes or perhaps move your eyes or again move the neck. Let's switch sides so we work the other leg. And then a tip for this is perhaps every morning and night you can challenge your balance perhaps by thinking about cleaning your teeth and working your balance at the same time, working um, on the balance into your everyday routine can help. So that's um, just staying still, standing on one leg, but then let's see if we can cope with moving the leg out to the side as well as working the stability there. So with, this is a standing clam position, just gliding the knee out to the side. Try and keep the pelvis pointing forwards. You have imaginary hip lights ahead of you and they stay still, pointing out from your hips there. So that's a lower level because your um, toes are staying in contact with the floor. A bit more of a challenge, your foot's resting on your calf, just make sure you stay away from your knee joint there, on the inside of the knee. Again, making sure that you stay level there. The last level up is up into this position, gliding out this is where you want to stay strong with your abdominals and also the glutes so we don't end up twisting the back. Okay, well done. Let's do that on the other side. So a little bend in the supporting knee, toes, ball of the foot on the floor and then just pivot through that foot. Opening out the front of the hip, pelvis pointing forward, still drawn in and lovely long spine. So there's your level one. Level two, rest the instep on the middle of your calf there and glide. And then level three, we'll be at that sort of 90, 90 degree angle there, out to the side. Now I don't want any catching pain in that hip, you can always have it a little bit lower. And you can always take it through a smaller range of movement if you feel any uncomfortable clunks or clicks in the hip there. Okay, so that's working on rotational control, making sure we're not twisting. Now we've got to work these deep abdominals, taking um, the leg forward. So let's just start lifting the knee towards the shoulder. Watch points is making sure we don't sink. And also the other watch point is making sure we don't bring the knee across into the midline of our body. So maintain those parallel lines. Now if you're okay with that, perhaps you don't need to tap the floor with your toes, perhaps you can keep the leg hovering above the floor and working through the range that you can control. Now with this, taking it into side kick level one in standing, so you're using your glutes and your deep abdominals as a natural corset of the abdominals there. So you're not sinking the lower back, but working through the leg, the hip, through a bigger range of movement. You manage that okay, let's switch to the other side. So let's just reset, little bend, keep sure, making sure pelvis is level there, and then knee up to the same shoulder on the same side there. Again, your option is you can steady yourself, with a little toe tap, or perhaps you want to work on endurance and challenging your balance a little bit more by staying, keeping that foot lifted off the floor. And then again, you've got that option working through a bigger range of movement, ensuring you're firing up your glutes, drawing in, just so you're not sinking into the lower back there. Okay, last one here. Right, so I hope you've enjoyed that series of balance exercises, really working on our deep abdominals that support our spine, as well as the glutes, and you will probably have felt a few muscles down the leg working there too. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that, and um, the next video clip will be a progression on your sitting exercises. So I hope you enjoy that too. Thank you.